My name's All Dot Master, and welcome back to Stack Soul. It is summer. Ah, <laughs> that was so enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah, definitely did not just take a shower and then start recording immediately after yesterday's live stream. No, that's definitely not what happened. Okay, let's get um, I think beetroot. I can do, can't I? No, I can't. Eggplant? I don't think I... Oh no! Four days and then summer and autumn. Alright. Let's get some, uh... Let's get some stuff planted. And today I should have a bunch of seeds, right? Oh shoot, I shouldn't have planted those there. Oh well. Um, yeah, I should have like a bunch of seeds today. Also should have a bunch of grown stuff. Maybe not a bunch. Should have some. There we go. I didn't get watered yesterday for some somehow. Like I said, once I get used to where how I should place things, it won't be as hard. Summer and autumn. Uh, I need to spam sugarcane because sugarcane is super expensive. I've learned this. There's some watermelons. Just gonna water those. Cool. And now let's do sugarcane here. Let's get this fossil out of the way. I'm excited. I we've never gone past um, spring. This is our first time into into summer. So let's get this a going. And this is gonna be a pain in the butt, isn't it, for me to have to keep all this watered? <laughs> Oh no, yeah it is. Uh... Okay, I'm pretty sure eggplant, because it regrows, it... I'm pretty sure it's a too high, but I'm just gonna plant a couple rows of it. Uh, this strange creature seems to be fluttering around rather frantically. Perhaps you should place it on the ground? Well, I'm gonna place it out here just in case it spawns a structure? Or maybe I have to chase it. Vorlin. Dot 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 dot. You just came out of a butterfly, dude. You better have more to say than that. Eh? What? Are these arms? Legs? Am I me again? Astounding. Fantastic. What did you do? I placed you on the ground. You were a butterfly. Ah, but I seem to be getting ahead of myself. I am Vorlin, once curator of a magnificent museum in a faraway land. Museum! Are we gonna get to build a museum? How did I come to be an insect? Mm, I do believe we should gloss over that for now. Perhaps if you pay me a visit on the morrow, we might discuss a few details. I must first reaccustom myself to this body and finally get some rest. You have no idea how long those blasted spiders were chasing me. Okay. Oh, by the way, journal. Look, you can look at things. So sweet dreams, I still have to build a patisserie and I need to talk to him tomorrow. But everything else is done. Which is exciting. Okay. I was picking up a butterfly and all of a sudden I got... And I went to see what type it was so I could put it away. And it was a mysterious butterfly. Kind of sad I didn't have to chase it down, but... Oh well. Let's go put this away in our very, very organized area. That totally was not like a last minute oh shoot thing. I am going to be probably storing... Some more of the plants. Until I know what to, I can really do with them. I will store bugs and insects here. And only sell them when we have a lot. Because then I will make the most amount of money out of them. Because if you just sell them willy nilly. They get cheaper and cheaper. But if you wait and then you sell them. They're better. And let's go milk the cow. I need to redo the house. Maybe that should be our thing for this episode is redo the house and go through halfway through summer. That might be a good idea. And clean up this barn. Oh, so much stuff. I want to rebuild the house. I want to fix the barn. I want to build an actual like, ooh, fixing the house. More than just fixing the house. I'm going to build us a kitchen. I need to get you more food. You have more food technically. I just didn't put it in there. 
I have figured it out. So you have to make just a regular wooden plank. Um, Cause I made a whole bunch of light wooden planks and it wouldn't let me dye them yellow. So I made a regular wooden plank which um, uses varnish as well, cheap varnish, thankfully. And then you could dye that. So now I just gotta figure out, I think it should just go this way, maybe a little bit more. Like just basically pick up the whole house, not the whole house, but pick up this right side of the house and move it over a tad. Um, I'm also probably gonna have to, well, I know I'm gonna have to buy more flooring and more roof which makes me a little terrified for how expensive that's gonna be i mean we'll be making a lot of money once i get going with my collection but while i'm building this house i'm kind of almost like stuck so our house looks a little weird right now <laughs> um it's looking better than it was I also bought some more flooring and such, and I need to figure out where my hammer went. There we are. So I can make it look better and not look, you know, have dirt on the floor. I'll eventually fix the rest of the floor because there is some of the floor that has um, dirt over there. As you can see, I'm not able to replace that quite yet. This should let me finish up. Oh shoot. Oh, I'm glad I got that back. That would have sucked. I think if I did this... I'm trying to think of the best way. The best way might be to do this. I'm trying to make it look nice. Because if it looks nice, then I'll be happy. I think whichever way I swing this, it's gonna be not good. <laughs> I am able to place replace some of this floor, which makes me happier. I might need to buy just like one more piece of this. Oh no, I did it! There we go. And now we put back the boiling station. No, we don't. Put the boiling station over here. We move the sink over to here because I think the sink's only too wide. Yay! And then we put the baker right here next to it. And we'll just go out a little tiny bit more here and have this like be our uh, our area where we have everything we need to cook, like the milk and all that. Have that over here. I'm gonna replace some of this in here. We're gonna need a lot more flooring, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Also, this is a pain because to to pick up this, you have to pick it up with a sponge and then walk over here and like be like, oh, I would like to set this down here for every piece. Let's talk to you. Here are some things: pumpkin, mango, mining lantern, watermelon. White rose. The white rose I've heard are broken. Just toss it. Or actually, maybe we should keep it, even though it is broken. Ah, oh, what a fine day to be a humanoid again. Cannot believe how comfortable the tavern floor was last night. So, to business. I took the liberty of examining your village in the early morning hours. As I suspected, and much to my horror, I might add, you lack a museum. Perhaps you're not aware but museums are of paramount importance. Make a museum. And I'm out of inventory room. So let's go sell a couple things real quick just so I have inventory room. And then I'm supposed to maybe talk, I was told to talk to Raya by Maximilian that she might have something for me to do. Oh, there's Raya. Right in front of me. Maybe? Raya, come back here. Maybe not. Yes, I won't forget to visit you again next time, farm fam. Trust me. There. Okay, so we need to build a museum. Watermelon, I need to plant in a mango tree. 
Which means we can get more trees. Not like we don't have a bunch of those. I can't wait until they start producing because then I can turn them into jam. Which I have that recipe memorized because it's super easy. Jam is sugar and whatever the um, berry is. And sugar is boiled sugar cane. Okay, let's plant these. Even though these are going to take up a bunch of room. Oh, shoot. I did not mean to plant those there. That's going to... Oh, well. They'll only be there for 13 days. Water all of it quickly. Before I forget, make sure everything's watered. I mean, it should be, but... Better safe than sorry, and let's build an- oh, you're growing already. Let's build a little tree plot right here next to our other little collection of trees. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Cows are good. I ordered trough food. That's why we have, like, no money. And polished fossil. Uh, let's just put away some of my inventory. All of the onions! My goodness. This is amazing. So what I'm thinking... I sell the golden onion and see how much it's worth. I sell the golden onion. And then I sit here, harvest everything else, and turn it all straight back into seeds. Because they grow year-round, and I'd rather take the chance on getting the golden than on selling these. Did you see how much that one golden one was worth? That's a lot. Okay. We're gonna have a lot of seeds, but that's fine. I'm also gonna turn around and make- or buy building materials straight off the bat with that money that I'm going to make from both oh let's save the cucumbers but from the golden onion I'm going to turn around and buy building materials actually might I'm probably going to go sell this in town so then I can get money right away that's a lot that is a lot of money I'm happy I'm really happy that means that we can get started on all our stuff a lot sooner than I had thought. I just didn't realize that it'd be worth eleven hundred dollars. Ooh, worker bee! Yay! Oh, no, I didn't get it because my inventory was full. Darn it! Let's go sell this stuff. I got really excited about the worker bees because it means I could have um, helped our bee farm along. Oh, it's on the ground! Ha ha! Yeah, I've been, every day that I harvest the honey, I've been selling it because I only had one bee farm producing, but now I think we have three that are done. Five that are done. You can see the bees swarming around the ones that are f full of bees. And six that are done. And this one has nine, three, and probably three. So those have quite a bit longer. Which is fine by me. It, I'm really not in a rush to get honey. It would be nice too because it's so... It's like $240 per honey. And right now that's all you can do. You can't make anything else with honey. But it... Like sell it. And since if you sell something every day. The, the price goes down on it. I'm probably going to start once I get like the beehive started. I'm going to wait until they're all on the same day. So sit there and wait until they all sink and then harvest and then on the day I harvest I'll sell what I have or every other time I'll sell. Depends on how much they're worth. But basically, if you don't sell often, you make more money in this game. I'm going to put away some of the things that I don't necessarily need on me at the moment. So we met Vorlin. We took apart the house. I uh, got the kitchen done. I like how it looks. I'm going to definitely put a light up and then finish out the floor, move the bedroom over here, make this 
all storage and maybe actually make this the workshop and have the storage over here in this area. That might be cool. Expand the barn a little bit. There's a lot of stuff to do. Oh, I did um, put food. Bought food and put food in there. Oh, golden onion. Yay, $1,100 right there. Just boom. Boom, right there. So yeah, that's my, that's my plan. I'm waiting for the seeds to <laughs> finish reaping, which I guess I could sit here and right click and it would go faster. That's probably a smart idea. Oop, don't pick them up. Just make it go faster. So, it's summer! And we are going to have so many more shenanigans. But for now, I'm going to leave this episode here. It's kind of a wimpy episode, but we met Vorlin. I mean, come on, who doesn't love somebody who turns from a butterfly into a human? I want to learn more on his backstory. So, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye!